Hi guys, Jennifer Scrapping Cane here. I'm sharing a double eight and a half by eleven layout today using the wedding kit that I put together for my mom and dad's renewal vows. This is using the Simple Stories collection Remember, along with a few stash items from my stash of acrylic and chipboard pieces and wood veneer. Um, actually, I don't think I add in any stash pieces. I think everything's new on this layout today. Um, as I'm showing you the papers I plan on using, um, it turns out being a really simple layout. And actually, the only papers I end up using are the two right there. The peach color and that tan color. And then a few of the sticker items I use also. Um, I believe I'll pull in a couple of the foam stickers off of the foam sheet for my title. And uh, the 49 and Market negatives that I'm showing you here. I don't plan on using all of those. Um, I tried out both of them of which ones I would be using. I end up going with the solid ones instead of the ones that are uh, punched out with the like pitcher holes, I guess. And all of the flowers I do plan on using. And the butterflies change to a different butterfly, but I do end up using the butterflies on the layout. And these are the letters I have picked out for my title. And the title is just going to be the cake. This is where they cut the cake and eat it. And this is the design I'm going to go with here. Um, I did use a sketch from 30 Days of Sketches. This is day 12. And I'll have all the information down below along with links. And this here is where I'm placing my title. Um, at first, I thought I was going to put the at the top on the like the hearts. I try it there and then I try it. Um, I think I try it next to the cake, the word cake first. And then I try to put it in the hearts and I don't like there. So it ends up staying where it's at right about now. Um, all the photos are matted on just plain white cardstock. And the little white dove bird that you see up there in the corner of the photo, uh, I added it there because it kind of needed something up in that corner, just a little something. And it's also covering up my little cousin that's in the photo, which didn't really want her face in the photo with a wedding cake. But I couldn't trim the picture down because it kind of shows the setup of the whole table. So I just put the little bird there. In the negatives, I cut the ends of the negatives with the deckle edge scissors. And those are uh, available online in different places. I'm not sure how easy they are to find, but I know people have been able to find them. And the little label there says always and forever. And right now I'm just kind of laying everything out. This is going to be a pretty quick layout because I really don't do anything except for pop that centerpiece there up on play foam. And then uh, pretty much everything else is flat to the layout. So this was a really simple layout, but I really think it's kind of an elegant layout and it really just showcases um, their love for each other and their this part of the wedding, which was just the cutting of the cake. And the photos were, the one on the left-hand side was taken by my uncle. And so it was taken with a different camera than the one, the two on the right-hand side. So the colors of them are very different, uh, mainly because uh, the cake one kind of has a yellow tint to it. But it really kind of matches that yellow paper on the other side. So placing the peach color on one side and the yellow color on the other side kind of brought the two together. At least in my eye, they look like they go more together now than they did when it was separate. But I don't have any other pictures that match color-wise to them eating the cake. So I don't know if my uncle didn't take any or we just didn't get those prints or they were lost. More than likely, they were lost. Um... I just put a little flower sticker up there by the bird. And um, over here, I try this banner out. I'll end up removing it. Um, it's one of the foam stickers from Simple Stories. 
I don't believe it stays there. I believe I changed it out for a white one. Um, I can't remember. Treasure the moments, I think, is what it says. Instead of sweet memories, I think, is what this one says. And the foam pieces aren't as sticky as they used to be. Um, I'm not sure if Simple Stories changed their uh, adhesive or what, but just an FYI, they're not as sticky as they used to be. So um, I was able to place it down and then pick it back up where before if you placed it down, um, you kind of had to leave it there because you weren't getting it back up. So I have all my pieces in place. Um, I will make the black film strip, which now it shows, go across all the way. And that was by piecing it together behind the flower and then laying the flower back on top. And here I'm just adding a couple of little hearts here and there to the clusters. And then uh, the last final touch I will add in will be flat back pearls in matching colors. And the center flower, I did fussy cut a little bit more of the white paper off of it. It just had a little bit too much white by the green and dark navy blue leaves. So fussy cutting that off made it more delicate and just made it look better in my opinion. So I think that's it though. So here's another layout into my book for my mom and dad and their wedding renewal vows. I should have a layout up tomorrow for the 13th um, on Instagram, but it will not be on YouTube. I won't have anything on YouTube tomorrow, but I will be back on Thursday the 14th with a Spiegel Mom Scraps sequence layout. Bye, guys.